our latest update for when it comes to the Ukraine and Russia war that we have seen go through many months now uh, since February 24th. Well, there is something new that's happening and we definitely want to make sure that you know what's happening in that region as we haven't seen a de-escalation of that war with Russian forces who have decided since they have left Kyiv to take over the eastern part of Ukraine. Well, the latest update is that uh, Ukraine has retaken territory in the east region and has also restricted flow of gas uh, to Europe from uh, when it comes to from Russian forces, which has been something that um, has been highly criticized that uh, even though there's sanctions against Russia, that a lot of the European countries are still using Russia as the main provider of uh, oil and gas for energy. And so Ukrainian forces uh, have said that uh, based on the battlefield as of yesterday, that there was counterattacks and that it shifted the momentum of the war to ensure that uh, Ukrainian forces are able to take back some of that region around Kharkiv. Uh, they have been uh, receiving uh, funding from the United States and other countries and when it comes to uh, anti-weapons uh, and missiles to be able to defend themselves. But this is one of the biggest, um, this is one of the biggest stepping stones for Ukraine um, after they had reclaimed Kyiv and were able to get rid of the Russian forces whose target was essentially the capital city. And uh, this, is, um, this is to be said that uh, the Russian forces had been on the outskirts of Kharkiv for a while, uh, which is about uh, 40 kilometers uh, away from that frontier to make sure that uh, they've been pushed back. Now, Ukraine has also said that they're also holding the first war crimes trial against Russia and uh, to, to really highlight the fact that what's happened in Ukraine has been genocide against Ukrainian people as, uh, as uh, Russian forces have been targeting homes, buildings, schools, hospitals, and, uh, and there have been also stories of uh, Russian forces deporting um, Ukrainians into Russia. And uh, this was done without their choice. Uh, it's, and there's stories about how the, the Ukrainians that have been deported from Ukraine to Russia, their children have been separated from them and adopted to Russian families. What's happened, what's coming out of uh, the stories out of Ukraine, how women have been raped and killed and burnt to cover the evidence of women being sexually assaulted. And kill it, it's uh, it's horrific what's happening. It has caused about seven million Ukrainians to be displaced in the country, and about five million to be refugees in uh, different parts of the world, and uh, majority of them in their neighboring country of Poland, and not having really a home to come back to, as these cities have been completely destroyed. So this is uh, the latest development that's coming out of uh, the region.